Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a seven year disaster battle playing as Clan Angrand, although Thorgrim Grudgebearer is in command of this. And we're defending Castle Carcassonne against Corone, which is under the command of Rapance, Lewin Leonker, and some other random person. So, straight off the bat, we're up against more than two full stacks. So, given that we have less than two full stacks, it would be wise for us to not control a large army. Enabling us to slow down the pace of the battle, which a faster paced battle when outnumbered will favor the whoever, Whichever side has the greater numbers So that means that some of our units are going to show up at the start now The most important unit that isn't going to show up is going to be the grudge thrower But we already have some grudge throwers available. So there's nine units there. So we just have to basically hey, hang on if we go um, What I'm just trying to think from what point will they not show up so another that's, um, there's nine in there. We can have another 11. So that's, that's 10, 11. All right. That means that these ones here aren't going to show up. That's okay. We'll have an excess of missile units anyway. Okay. That should be fine. Uh, and then we just, we just got to deal with this. No, we don't have any magic. I don't think holding the walls is going to be a good idea considering how many flyers they've got. It just isn't going to provide any advantage. Um, the settlement type here is not ultra defensible but it's, it's i'd probably rate this one seven out of ten for defensibility it can be quite good but it does have a lot of weaknesses as well it's, it's got a few weaknesses it's not the worst it's not the best it's got some good potential kill zones but it can be tricky to get the ai to actually do that there's three entry points into the town square but those three entry points are can be difficult to defend these ones here especially this one here yeah I ideally you want them all coming up this way so yeah that's what I thought okay and our reinforcements will show up from over here which is a horrendous place for it to show up but we can't do anything about it um, it would not be in our in our advantage to to deal with uh, with two full stacks with a stack and a bit this makes the playing field relatively fair. At least initially. Okay, we've got way too many Thunderers. It's going to be difficult to get them all shooting at once. I was just wondering if he had the uh, Iron Warden's tankard, but it doesn't look like it. The ancestors watch. If it wasn't for their flying units, I'd totally put gunners up on the walls, but... Yeah, we can't... I don't know, because we don't have any slayers to deal with that. Actually, actually, now that I think about it... Hang on. Maybe I will put some guys up on the walls. these guys here can shoot up at the wall at the Hippogriff Knights, especially if we leave a really... Like, if we put the Thanes up here, Thorgrim can't go up there. Have them shoot at this stuff. Keep these guys on the ground. Just double checking where everyone is. Okay. Because what we got to try to do is create some kill zones. Make sure that our gunners are firing without obstruction. This area here would be ideal. So what we want is for them to come through the gate, ideally. And then essentially get bogged down as much as possible. But they've still got some infantry, just not that much. Maybe having these guys stand here like this could work. Like, yeah. Maybe. So you want them to come inside. I didn't see any enemy artillery. 
Okay. Don't worry about the towers too much. Alright, those organ guns there are going to shoot our own troops. These guys here have to move further down the hill here. Be very careful with them. Which is why we don't put them on fire at will. Alright. Yeah, we just really need to make sure the organ guns don't shoot our own troops. They have to be shooting pretty much here or nothing. We'll have to move things as we go. Alright, let's go with this. So don't bother trying to shoot towers because it won't. So, Thunderers are on fire at will, but these guys here aren't. Alright, I can put this one on fire at will. Okay, that's enough. Just one volley is enough. Alright. Unfortunately, these guys here... What are they doing? Yeah, that's not good for us. That is not good at all. These guys out of there. There's just not much we could really do to like pin down those hippogriffs. They so far haven't really done that much damage to us though, so it's not too bad. That one there should die. God damn it. Come on, you gotta keep shooting these hippogriffs. Now's the best time to do it for sure. Okay, what's this? Lewin the old curse coming in. Oh god. Hopefully he comes down here and wants to take out Thorgrim. Right, everyone turn back around. Shoot at Thorgrim. Ah, psh. The Lumen the Unco. Shit, he's in the way. You damn fat ass, get out of the way. That did a lot of damage, but I don't know where he's going, and I don't like it wherever he is going. They're not even trying to get through here. Don't let them get through here. Which is really cramped. I'm glad I didn't control a large battle because it would have made things even more cramped for us. Far more advantageous for the uh, for the enemy. Okay, Lewin's almost gone. That's a big deal if we can get rid of him. Like nice and early. These ones here just standing out there, that's great. They'll take a while to get through there, but they will eventually do so. Alright, these guys here need to get back on their artillery. I think that's the end of the flying units, at least for the time being. A little bit more. Okay, good. Living the Encore is out of here. Alright, let's... We really need to get reformed. We're in a big mess here. Thorgum took a lot of damage, but he'll be okay. Guys, shoot there. Hang on, just be careful, we're gonna shoot my own men there. And as for these two, we're just more likely to hit our own troops at the moment. Just isn't worth doing that. Too inaccurate, too clumped up, not a good idea.
Alright, that's enough. That's enough. They cleared it. Cleared them out. No, that won't be good. Alright, we gotta get the gunners back into position here. That's not gonna do anything. Yeah, leaving these two guys up on the wall seems to be working pretty well. Lots of damage being done to these high value cavalry units. Alright, bring the catapults over here and we'll see. It would be good if we could shoot down there, but they're just obstructed. Ooh, how about you shoot the, uh, the wizard there? So far, so good. And I just don't know what the hell they're thinking. <laughs> they still haven't broken through here yet. Almost. Kind of tempting to send someone over there. You know what? I think I will. Uh, yeah, 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 I think I will. Yeah, kill their wizard. Alright, now we can finally get reorganized over here. Those flying units really messed us up. In terms of just making a mess, not in terms of actually doing damage to us. They really traded poorly for damage there. Like, really, really poorly. Alright, is there time to get over there? Yeah, there might be. There might be. Uh, then again... We got incoming over here. How long have we got? Not very long. But yeah, just having someone just shoot at these Grail Knights a bit with impunity would be pretty good. Alright, I can get these guys to shoot over there a little bit. Might as well get them some kills. Because what could be good is if we could use up their ammo. Oh yeah, shoot, that would be a good idea. Use up their ammo. And then, we can't withdraw them from the battlefield, but if we got them badly damaged and they left the battlefield, then that would be, at least they've used up their, their ammo. Did we get there in time? No, because they, they just captured the town. Uh, <laughs> they spent all that time trying to bash through, and then these guys capped it. It's fine. Uh, we're going to need more guys over here. Okay, that's enough out of you. Alright, this guy here, I'm going to bring him up on this tower. Might as well, I mean, we don't need him there at the moment. Thorgrim, going to need you over here. Okay, this could be a great opportunity. Ah, uh, they're too close. Very cramped in here. The next kill is ours. Dead I'll get him. Okay, I think this guy here is in their way. Nothing can stop us. Let the vengeance begin. Yep, there we go. Now they're firing.
Alright. This guy is part of his army. Let's... It would be... Uh, yeah, it would be good to try to keep it alive. Just so he doesn't have to re-recruit it. And I feel like the battle is going okay to begin with. Some of these units are garrison units, and I don't know which ones. Actually, no, 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 it's the melee units that are garrison. Wait, some of the some of the garrison units are also gunners as well, but they've got loads of experience, so I'm not... I just don't know. Alright, that's enough. Alright, all gunners except for this one here, aim at the paladin. Alright, that little scuffle there worked out quite nicely for us. Yeah, so it's okay to sacrifice the melee infantry, because that's just part of the garrison. Another bloody wizard's here. I never saw Rapance, where did she go? She was commanding and... Yeah, where did she go? Uh, is that her there? Yeah, here she comes, okay. Gunners in a nice kill zone here. This is working out all right. All right, loads more troops are incoming. But yeah, these towers are doing a really good job at thinning them out. Just didn't want to be up here at the start. Oh shit. Um, yeah, I will send reinforcements up there because they're not going to win. Actually, the catapults. If you could move over here, maybe I could actually shoot those battle pilgrims. Right, focus on the paladin first, because he can just be taken down a lot quicker than Rapance. And then we'll focus on Rapance. You know, just take out the weaker one first, basically. Alright, cool. He's down. Next one. Repass. Okay, unit got wiped out, which means reinforcements are coming in. Uh, that's not good. And there goes Repass. Alright, cool stuff. Good. It's good they got off the wall. Uh, we've got that under control there. He stays there, they can't hit us. Got to reclaim control of these these towers, a lot more damage can be done. This is a nice kill zone here. Be easier for them to hit the one that's farthest away. Oh, here's the Beast Wizard. Yep, definitely want that one to die. Mm, they're having a hard time. Oh, whatever, it's fine. And yeah, she's a goner. Good stuff. Another unit wiped out. Well, that just means another unit's going to take its place. It's kind of weird how they're traversing the entire map to get to this point here. God, 
fucking catapults. Yeah, this is the problem with this particular map here. Artillery is really hard to utilize because of the, uh, the lack of choke points and because of the... It's just a very squished map, really. Get him in there. Oh god, this guy's out of ammo. That's not good. Oh crap, we got incoming here. You're gonna have to ignore him. Alright, here's an idea. I'm going to put this guy up on the wall instead of one of these Thanes. Bring the Thane down here to come and fight instead. Thorgrim can't stay in combat for much longer. This guy's in his way. Alright, Thorgrim's going to come off. Uh, he's fine there for the time being, I suppose. For the ancestor gods. And we'll put you up here. Come together, lads. Move now. Stop. Okay, that actually might work. Attack. That's a good number of kills, 198, considering how obstructed they've been. Get Get moving. Are you actually getting some shots in? Yep, gonna hit some of our own units, but there's way more of theirs than there are of ours. And like I said, the melee infantry there don't really matter because they're part of the garrison, so instantly can recover. Well, not instantly, but you know, quickly, without having to pay anything. Alright, more flies are coming in, which basically means we're at the back end of the battle now. So, both good and bad. Bad because it's hard to deal with. Good knowing that maybe we're winning, maybe? Get over here. They seemingly are still doing quite well. Doesn't look like we really need these towers anymore. Get him down here. Help us fight. Doesn't matter. That's part of the garrison, so if it gets wiped out, it's not the end of the world there. Ooh, Thorgrim might get wrecked. And oh, just in time, there's the army losses. Any chance they were in force march? No, they weren't. <laughs> the artillery shows up at the end of the battle. Yeah, you need it the other way around. You, you need them at the start. So that was that was good for us. But yeah, close call on Thorgrim there, because those um, those Pegasus Knights would have wrecked him. Everyone else was just too tied down. And I don't think any units got wiped out in, in the actual army. Definitely some in the garrison, but that's okay. And their forces have been obliterated. Probably a close victory. Ah, how about that? I thought we took a bit too much damage for a heroic victory. Yeah, the, the main army is absolutely fine, apart from Thorgrim, but he should replenish pretty quickly. Organ guns, even though they only got to fire for a small portion of the battle, they ended up getting the most kills. It's because they're awesome. Rapunzel's army got obliterated.
completely obliterated every last one of her units. Paladins and all. All dead. The one the Elko. So those are the those um guys at the end there. And this one here got captured. Cool. Ten percent chance of losing a uh, an artillery piece if you lose a battle, even if it doesn't get wiped out. And the garrison units, those will come back. So all the casualties are in the right place. That's only going to affect Thorgrim's army, and he's still got a good replenishment rate on his units, so that's totally fine. Ugh. Something bad happened over at Karaza Karak. Are you fucking serious? Uh, whatever. So now it looks like it's the order time. Order tide time. So what's this? Um, honest, this looks like a rebellion. Oh wait, no, it's not. It's one of these. That really should be quite easy to deal with. What's the map look like? Oh yeah, this is this is a Karaza Karak type settlement. Um, this is like 9 out of 10 defensibility. If you can't win this, then uh, you shouldn't be playing on legendary difficulty. This is this one here is not a disaster. It's like 100% chance you should be able to win it. No problem. Because, like, for one thing, Crypt Ghouls aren't good against um, Dwarves at all because of their armor rating. And uh, you've got these artillery and missile units here. You can hold the choke points. The, none of these guys are going to get in. You just hold the line and just have these guys shoot them. Super easy, even if you're outnumbered by as much as, as you are. Not a difficult battle. Anyway, I'll be sending this back. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Hope you learned something from that, uh, that fight. And I'll see you next time, fuckers.